If you look in this cage, uh, you'll see an earthworm, and it's composed of a couple of different kinds of cell. Um, the cell that we are interested in is the spiral cell, which goes uh, like, a, like a helical here. Um, it's almost invisible, the diameter is around 5 microns. Um, it is covered with uh, blue droplets, a lot of blue droplets, which are micron size. And the discovery is about the mechanics of the blue droplets and how the structure of the glue droplets uh, increases adhesion, um, like at least two orders of magnitude. So these glue droplets are um, composed of a lot of polymeric uh, glycoproteins and a low molecular weight viscous coat. So what we showed in this discovery by micromechanical stretching of these glue droplets is that the elasticity, or should I say the viscoelasticity of the droplets increases the adhesion by around uh, two orders of magnitude, and uh, which is good because it can it helps the spider hold on to the fast flying insects when they come onto the web because the, because of the viscous forces and when the, ins, the those insects are trapped on the web the elastic forces uh, help them retain uh, you know on the web until the side of the spider subdues them recent discovery which we have stumbled upon is on spiders and how spiders are actually using this uh, microscopic glue droplets to catch prey the reason we are very excited is because uh, these glues work under water and we can imagine now making applications of synthetic materials uh, which would be in the area of biomedical engineering, we could be making bandages with sticks to skins and, and perhaps also in patching up and repairing tissues inside a body. And so this uh, discovery essentially will allow us uh, to now move forward in, uh, in designing new materials. This discovery is in excellent example of the potential of our new integrated bioscience program to bring together researchers from different fields like polymer science and biology to lead to novel discoveries such as the viscoelastic solid nature of spider glue.